all right so i got bored yesterday and i decided to do a poll um just adding some random albums that i thought people would want to see and by a damn long shot like 70 percent of people voted for ok computer by radiohead but yeah i'm actually kind of excited for this because i've heard a lot of good things about this album i've always heard that this is like one of the greatest albums of all time which i mean is kind of worrying because that kind of means that there's going to be that there's going to be a lot of toxic lovers of this album which means like if i even criticize this album a little bit i'm gonna get a lot of hate but you know i'm still gonna be honest i'm still gonna you know be critical like if i don't like something i'm gonna be honest and i'm gonna say it but yeah, other than that i don't want to bore you guys so let's just get straight into this this album needs 120 points to be a 10 out of 10 all right so the first track is track number one airbag all right that was really cool the vocals are really interesting I'm only like a minute and 20 seconds in, but this is like an insanely interesting song so far. I, I don't know if I would say I love it, but it is a really interesting intro. Man, this instrumental is like really interesting. Ooh. This is really cool. Right, so yeah that was track number one airbag yeah that was really interesting i'm gonna give that a w um i like the instrumentals a lot i think the instrumentals are very experimental but it's very different too but it kind of like i don't know it's hard to explain like this song's really cool like i wouldn't say it's like phenomenal but it's, it kind of challenges the brain in a sense with its like instrumentals and stuff like that it's it's kind of like a song you kind of have to really pay attention to the instrumentals for um uh, next track is track number two paranoid android okay got like a little acoustic guitar going on Ooh. i'm sorry from all the unborn chicken voices in my head what is that Stephen Hawkins in the background? This is really interesting. Okay. I see you. Gut wait, kicking and squealing Gucci little piggy? What? Yo, this song's wild. Like, I despise long songs that are, like, over four minutes long. And most people know this. Like, if you've been sub to my channel for a long time, you know this. This, I don't mind. Because I am so invested in this song. Because I don't know what the hell is going on. But I want to know what the hell is going on. <laughs> These vocals are nice. I got a little bit like, a vocal coder going on. Oh, it's not a vocal coder. It's a synth that's going with their vocals. Yeah. Wow. Huh. I don't even want to like pause it or anything because I'm like. Nah, this song's good. For a six minute songs, this don't feel like six minutes. Ooh. I love these endings. Like, they're so cool. What the heck? What is this? Why did it pause? Alrighty, so that was track uh, number two, Paranoid Andrew. That was another W. That was awesome. Um, that was, <laughs> What was that? I, I don't even know what that was. Like, I, I, that was so random, but it was so good. Like, damn, for a six minute and 27 second song, like, it does not feel like that. Like, that, that went by so fast instrumentally it was so interesting lyrically i was confused as hell and i still am confused as hell please please for love of god explain to me what the heck the lyrics are yeah that was good i loved it i got no complaints about that song all right next track is track number three subterranean homesick alien damn they be wilding with these title tracks all right back with like the good uh, the good two stick guitar <laughs> God, it's so hot. I want to turn on my fan, but like, it's gonna make so much noise in the background. Actually, you know what? You guys are gonna have to deal with it. Oh, God. It's just, it's too hot, bro. Whew. 
Ooh. All right. Oh my god, these instrumentals. Yo, this song's so weird, but I absolutely love it. Woo! Woo! Oh, this is awesome. Also, sorry if you guys hear like a fan in the background. It's just really hot. I don't know why here where I live it's like it's either really hot or really cold there's no in between I don't know why this state is like this that actually might be my favorite song so far I'm not even joking yeah that was track number three subterranean homesick alien that was a diamond I'm not even joking that was the first time on the tr on the album um I think vocally it was absolutely amazing I think lyrically it was good I think instrumentally I, I loved it honestly I, I love the instrumentals like the instrumentals are amazing like I gotta add that real quick. Wait, add to library. Yeah, I had to add that. That was good. I love that. Like, I would 100% listen to that again. Like, 100%. All right, next track is track number four Exit Music for a Film. Ooh, it sounds like it's gonna be a slower song. Ooh. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh. Nah, I love this. This is good. I'm not even halfway done. No, I don't even want to talk like that's how beautiful the song is. Nah, it's this gorgeous. Nah. All right, so that was track number four, exit music for a film. Dude, that that was freaking majestic. That was beautiful. Holy crap. Lyrically, it was phenomenal. Vocally, it was phenomenal. Instrumentally, it was phenomenal. Yo, I'm, I'm actually tempted to listen to that again. I'm not even joking. I'm If I didn't have to, like, go in, like, an hour, I would literally listen to this again. I'm not even joking. That's how good it is. But because I can't listen to it again because I have to go in an hour, I'm going to continue with the next song, which is Let Down. Okay. Ooh. Yo, this is really good. What the heck? I'm like a minute in. Yo, I'm gonna get a hat real quick because my hair is all sorts of messed up. But like, yeah, I'm really enjoying this album so far. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh. Oh, this is good. I love this. Oh, that guitar riff, dude. Nah, this is good. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, his vocals. Oh my god, the high note, the falsetto. Oh my god, that falsetto is beautiful. Nah, that was beautiful. I love this. Holy crap. All right, but yeah, that was track number five, Let Down. That was that was another diamond. Holy crap, dude. What the heck? Like, at first, I was a little skeptical about this album. Like, because last time I reacted to an album that was considered the greatest of all time, it was, um, what was it called? Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. And I, I, I really enjoyed the album. Like, I rated it high, but, you know, there was, like, you know, a few things I critiqued and, you know, criticized. And... Bro, I swear to God, I, I I so much hate for that album. Like I got so much hate for it, even though I gave it like a really high, like rating, like almost a ten out of ten. People still hated on me for it because I didn't give it a ten out of ten. I, I was like really skeptical and kind of scared to react to this because I was scared to like 
if I actually criticize something that people are gonna get mad but like but so far I got nothing to criticize like this is actually a phenomenal like album so far like it got three diamonds in a row all right but the next track is track number six karma police all right ads come back off now it's getting itchy okay god she has a hitler hairdo was she a karen is that who he's telling them to arrest a karen because if I, if if so then i mean i'll do respect yeah that's a pretty valid reason Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is really good. It's such a, like, no joke, this is such a weird album, but it is shockingly good. Ooh. Nah, this is, this is good. Oh, this is amazing. Dude. This is the Big Crusher. Alright, but yeah, that was track number six, Karma Police. Oh, that is almost a diamond. I'm going to give that a high W, but that's almost a diamond. Like, I might actually change that later to a diamond, but I loved it. I think lyrically it was really good. I think instrumentally it was amazing. I think vocally it was phenomenal. I love the vocals. Um, yeah, that was great. I loved it. All right, so the next track is track number seven, Fitter Happier. <laughs> There's a lot of talk of pigs i'm not even joking i wonder if that's like a metaphor or something but in this album like so far in this album there's been like a lot of talk of like pigs and swine and stuff like that um but yeah that was fitter happier um that is just an interlude so i won't be counting that which means the scoring or the total amount of points it's needed to get a 10 out of 10 is changing from 120 points to 110 due to the fact that this is a interlude and i can't count interludes all right so next track is track number eight electioneering Ooh, it sounds like a hype track. Oh, also, I'm changing Karma Police to a diamond because it's... It, and now, the more I think about it, the better it, it, it was. Hey. Oh my god, this is good. Dude, this is good. What the heck? Oh my god, that instrumental. Dude. All right, so that was track number eight, Electioneering. Crap, this is hard. I don't know what to rate this song. I might actually have to give it a diamond. I'm not even joking. I'm, this might be a diamond. Screw it. I'm giving it a diamond. That was good. Like, I, I have no complaints about that song whatsoever. Like, I would 100% listen to that song, like, again and again and again and again. Like, I literally have no complaints about that song. Like, I can't even think of a complaint. Yo, they're killing it right now with these ratings. Holy crap. All right, so the next track is track number nine, Climbing Up the Walls. Ooh, okay. Dude. Oh my god, his vocals are so good. Oh my god, this vocal mixing is phenomenal. Oh my god. Ooh. That's like eerie. That's cool sounding. That is so cool. Alright, so that was track number 9, Climb Up the Walls. That was a diamond, bro. That's oh, oh my god, that was phenomenal. Oh my god, vocally, it was amazing. Lyrically, it was amazing. Instrument, oh my god, dude. Maybe people weren't wrong, you know? Maybe people weren't over-exaggerating with this album. Maybe, maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they had a reason that this album is considered the greatest album of all time. I'm getting, I'm starting to, I, I'm starting to understand the hype around it. Alright, so next track is track number 10, No Surprises. I think I've listened to this song before, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Vocally, it's a lot different than other songs. 
Oh, also, I'm going to change an Paranoid Android to a Diamond, because the more, it's one of those songs, like, the more I'm starting to think about it, like, that one was actually really good. Maybe Airbag, I'll give it a Diamond too. I, know, I still gotta think about it. Airbag, I might need to give it another listen. I might give it another listen before I do the rating, just, just to see. Damn. Lyrically, this is really dark. Now, see, now I'm getting cold. It, what, what, what the heck's happening? Is it me? Maybe it's just me. Like, now I'm actually cold. So I'm going to turn it off, and then within, like, five, six minutes, I'm going to get caught again. And I'm going to have to return it on. I don't really want to talk to this song. Like, that's how good this song is. All right, so, yeah, that was track number 10, No Surprises. That's another diamond. Um, I think vocal is really, like, beautiful. Um, lyrically, it's actually, I think, the easiest one to follow along with than the others. Like, I actually understood what it was talking about. Like, pretty much he wanted to kill himself. All right, next track is track number 11. Uh, second last track. Holy crap, we're flying by this. Um, track number 11, Lucky. Ooh! I love his voice. It's like he has such like a vulnerable voice, and it, honestly, that's such an amazing kind of voice to have, especially when you have to make music like this. Because having a very vulnerable voice like this really helps convey and show your emotion throughout the song, and honestly, that that's phenomenal. I love that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, this is freaking beautiful. This is such an interesting song. Bro, a guitar solo. Beautiful. Alright, so yeah, that was track number 11, the second last track. Uh, Lucky, that was another diamond. I'm not even shocked at this point that it was a diamond. That was freaking beautiful. I love the vulnerability in his voice. And honestly, I think the vulnerability in his voice kind of really shine through a lot of the mo not all these songs really um i think that's really why i like these songs too um i i should have probably said that earlier i was kind of thinking it too but i was just i was so invested in these songs it's so i it just didn't even want to talk i just wanted to vibe out like i just didn't say it earlier but yeah that was beautiful i love that all right but we're here we're at the final track track number 12 the taurus all right got like slower song i guess Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Ooh. Dude. Oh, this is beautiful, dude. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Alright, so that was the final track, track number 12, The Taurus. That was a diamond. Holy crap, that was amazing. Um, I think lyrically it was beautiful. I think instrumentally it was beautiful. Vocally it was beautiful. That was a phenomenal way to end off the album. I'm not even joking when I say that. Holy crap. Every single song on here was perfect. And even Airbag. Actually, I'm going to re-listen to Airbag real quick. And I'll, like, I'll come back to you guys in a second. Okay. Yeah, now that I listen to the whole album, this song sounds a lot better. I'm not even joking when I say that. Yeah, that's a diamond. Yeah, definitely a diamond. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was good. I'm not even joking. Um, but yeah, we did it. We reacted to the whole OK Computer album by Radiohead. Honestly, I think y'all could tell by the ratings of what I think about this album. This album was phenomenal. Vocally, this album was phenomenal instrumentally it's so experimental and so different than like 99% of the albums I've listened to on the channel and it, it's so unique and I love it dude um you could tell like after listening to this album like as I was listening to it I started noticing patterns of like I noticed other artists using that made me think of maybe other artists I've listened to it, it kind of sounds like those albums had a little bit of a little bit of inspiration from this album in like the sound design and stuff like that so I wonder if this album like how many albums this album like inspired I I got no complaints about this album 
like none whatsoever. I honestly thought that this album wasn't going to be that great because normally when it comes to hype, a lot of times people just hype up really mediocre albums, but th this album really does deserve the hype that it's getting. Like, you know, like I saw, you know, Rolling Stone and all these people are giving it like a phenomenal reviews and stuff like that, but I, I just thought, okay, but I mean, these are the same people who gave great reviews to horrible albums like Evolved by Imagine Dragons, so I was like, I can't really trust it. So, you know, after listening to it, like, I can officially say, I get the hype. But yeah, I'm gonna go, you know, add these all together. Like, I might as well. I mean, I think y'all know what the score is gonna be. Right, so all together, this album got 132 points out of 111 points needed. That means that this album, wait, let me do the math. A 12 out of 10, bro. This album is a 12 out of 10. I said what I had to say already. I don't wanna like, you know, drag it on more by saying, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that even more. But yeah, I would 100% return to this album, no joke. Um, Yeah, let me know what else you react to from Radiohead. I would definitely react to more of them. I'm gonna see y'all later. Thank you guys so much for recommending me this album. Holy crap.